Hello. Today's video is especially dedicated to all our rocking senior students of DRS International School and our parent body as well. So I would first of all like to kickstart my video by saying a very big thank you to all our senior students for all their hard work and all their dedication. So here's a big thank you and a bigger shout out to all of you for that. I know and I can absolutely understand that it is not easy to learn online, to take classes online and to also take assessments and assignments online that too parallelly, simultaneously. It's not an easy task, but all of you have been doing it with absolute finesse. So here's a big, big shout out to all the senior students right here. At the same time, once again, I would like to thank all of you for being the best versions that you can possibly be and for all the work that you have been contributing to the school on time, adhering to the deadlines, sticking to your deadlines, respecting them and making sure that all your submissions, all your worksheet related submissions are also happening on time. All of you have also worked really hard during your summer break with regards to your holiday homework and your integrated projects. And all of you have done an absolutely great job with your holiday IP submissions. Most of you have really respected and adhered to the deadlines that the teachers have imposed. And all of you have been submitting some really class work. So here's a big shout out and claps for all of you for all that hard work. I know that most of you have also been spending literally sleepless nights for your studies, for your preparations, for your internal assessments, for all your homeworks, holiday homeworks and all the regular worksheets that you keep getting on Google Classroom portal. And for all these worksheets and all these homeworks that you have to also submit on time while maintaining the deadlines. So all of you have been spending sleepless nights, burning the midnight oil, working so hard and with so much fervor, passion and dedication. So that's not an easy task at all, considering the challenging times that we are living in right now with no proper school not being able to go to regular school as such, but despite that, taking all the digital online classes and making sure that you are spending the same amount and the same quality of time on your studies, making sure that you are dedicating and devoting the same quality time to your studies and also making sure that you are studying just as hard interacting just as much with your teachers, clarifying all your doubts digitally with your teachers just as much, making sure that with all the efforts of the school, with all the untiring and the selfless efforts of the teachers of DRS, that you are along with them, that you also along with your teachers are working just as hard to make sure that the quality of education is rightfully maintained and making sure that just like the teachers have been teaching you with undying fervor and undying zest and energy, similarly, you guys and girls are also learning digitally with undying fervor and undying energy. All of you have been making that deliberate effort in all your online classes and trust me, we teachers can see that. The coordinators can see that. Principal sir and all the heads of the institution can see that. And we recognize it. We truly appreciate it. And we would love to applaud all of you for it. So great job, great, great job by all of you. So once again, a big thank you to all of you for all that dedication and all that willingness to put in the hard work and of course for all that hard work that you have been putting into all your studies because your grades are reflecting your hard work and your marks are truly reflecting the hard work that all of you have been putting in and trust me we feel so so proud of each and every one of you 
But don't you think that every once in a while, it's a good idea to just sit back, let your hair down and relax a bit. Take a breather perhaps. Don't you think that it is high time you take a chill pill and do something about yourself and your health and your well-being as well. So I believe that the time has now come to conduct a quick wellness-based guided breath meditation. A meditation which can transport you into a space that you can call yours. A space where you can have a sense of calm and a space which is your own personal private bubble. A space where you can sit down or sit back and just relax, let your hair down for some time. Dig deep, dive inwards and introspect. Ask some questions from yourself. Analyze yourself and your needs today so that you can understand whether or not you have been fulfilling these needs for yourself. If you have been fulfilling these needs for yourself, then shout out to you. All the more power to you. I'm so proud of you. But if, because of your hectic schedule and because of so much of work at hand, you realize today, during the course of this meditation, that yes, you have not been able to give time to yourself, then probably, ma'am or sir, it is time for you to do that. It is time for you to make some time for yourself and your overall well-being. Because like I always tell to my students, I should tell it to all of you as well. That only when the cup of your life is full, can you contribute to the cups of others. I always believe in this line which Oprah always says, My cup runneth over. So when my cup runs over, when my cup spills over, it can only then run over into the cups of others. So what pours out of my cup or what flows out of my cup or what runs over my cup becomes yours. And what stays inside my cup stays mine. You can contribute to the quality of the lives of all those around you only when your life becomes more qualitative. So you can contribute towards the joy and the happiness of the others around you only when your own life is filled with joy and happiness and peace. So during the course of this meditation, our primary duty towards ourselves is to analyze ourselves by asking certain questions which I will be guiding you with. And yes, your primary duty will also be to find out honest answers to those questions. And based on the answers that you get, whether they be in the form of a yes or a no, we will decide on the further course of action for you. Don't worry, I will be here with you. I will be here to guide you through this entire spiritual process through this entire beautiful journey so that all of us can emerge as winners. All of us can ensure that our cups are full. All of us should be able to ensure that our cup of life is full because when our cup of life is full, only then it can runneth over. Only then it can spill over. Only then some quality, some happiness and some pure joy can flow out into the cups of others. Isn't it? Only when your cup is full can something spill over or run over. Only then can something flow out into the lives of those around you. So having said that, it is now time for us to sit down in a quiet, comfortable place wherever you can find it. So if you want, you can Probably pause this video and go find a comfortable spot for yourself. Any firm, comfortable surface where you can either sit cross-legged if you can, or if you are already seated on a chair or a couch, you can continue your meditation there itself. 
all I ask of you is roughly half an hour of your time, approximately 30 minutes of your time for this guided breath meditation and this body scan which I want to conduct along with all of you to be able to help you analyze yourself better and find some genuine honest answers to the questions that you will be asking yourself today. All right? So here's that quick meditation for all of you. So if you are sitting on a chair, I just want you to come right to the edge of the chair so that you are sitting directly on your bottoms and your feet flat on the floor. I would just like to ask you to keep your hands on your knees, either face down or palms facing up. Fingers slightly curled in. I like to keep my palms facing up with the fingers slightly curled in so that they are even more relaxed. Keeping in mind that your spine is erect and your entire body is relaxed, arms are relaxed, so are the thighs and the shins. Keeping your neck nice and long and just close your eyes. Just keep breathing as you are and I just want you to take a moment here to notice your breath. Just observe your breath. You don't have to change anything about your breath or manipulate it. Just notice how it flows. Is it shallow? Is it uneven? However it might be right now, I just want you to observe it. And continue to breathe as you are breathing. And slowly and very gently, I want you to bring your attention to your body now. Just allow your awareness and allow your entire attention to stay focused on the whole body. Just notice any tension there. Is there any stiffness in any part of the body? Are your hips feeling stiff? Is there any tension in your shoulders? Any discomfort or any pain of any kind? Whatever your body might be feeling in this very moment, just allow yourself to notice it. And let it be. Now slowly, slowly bring your attention back to your breath. And now for the first time in our meditation, we are consciously going to try to manipulate this breath. So with every inhale, I want you to take a deeper inhale. And with every exhale, I want you to make your exhale slower. With every inhale that you take, try to take a deeper inhale than the one you've taken earlier. And with every exhale, try to make your exhale even slower than the one before it. Now the ones who are relatively new to meditation, I'm going to be guiding you through this meditation a little more in depth. And the ones who have been meditating for quite a while can just follow the course of this video. We are going to follow a guided breath meditation now. 
So we will count in to the count of four and count out to the count of four. So every time you will breathe in or inhale, you will breathe in to the count of four and also breathe out to the count of four. So just get ready with your spine erect and your entire body relaxed. Your sick bones nicely and firmly grounded onto the chair, wherever you are seated. Every time you inhale, you will count in your mind to the count of four. And every time you exhale, you will count in your mind to the count of four. So the ones who are new to this meditation, I'm going to be counting for you a couple of times and you can just follow my count. And the ones who have been meditating for quite a while already know what they have to do. So just keep counting in your mind. And you can manipulate the pace of your breath according to the count which is running in your mind. And just count slow. You can follow my voice for the first couple of times and then take it gradually from there. So you inhale. Two. Three, four, exhale, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. Very nice. Now from here, with my guidance, just keep counting slowly at the back of your mind. And follow the breath work as I keep guiding you. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, last three times, inhale all the way up and slowly exhale, take a deeper inhale this time, deeper than the one before. And slowly exhale. Taking one last deep inhale, the deepest you've taken so far. And slowly, slowly exhale. Very nice. And now just stay there and return to the normal pace of your breath. And continue to breathe normally, keeping all your awareness on your breath. Notice how every once in a while your mind will tend to wander, as it is the very nature of the mind. So don't worry about it, since you are doctors yourself, I know you already know. You must have told this to your parents many times yourselves when... Your patients tend to panic when they tend to panic because of the COVID-19 infection. You must have told your patients how you want them to not panic and how you want them to understand that it is just the mind doing its thing when it wanders about and thinks all negative thoughts. So if your mind also tends to go haywire during the course of this meditation, just gently and gradually 
bring it back to your breath using your breath as an anchor here. Now we will move on to the second part of our guided breath meditation. Just follow my instructions and keep listening to my voice and keep listening to the words that I have to say. So with every inhale, I'm going to say, I am not the body. And with every exhale, I'm going to say, I'm not even the mind. So as I say, I am not the body, I want you to take a deep inhale, going right up to the bottom of your lungs, going right down to the center of your belly, filling up your lungs entirely so that your belly also expands. And while I say I am not even the mind, I want you to slowly and slowly exhale, returning to your original state, with your belly falling back in. Instead of rising anymore, your belly will fall back and your lungs will contract and deflate. So with every inhale, I am not the body and with every exhale, I am not even the mind. So let's get comfortable again and keeping our eyes closed, keeping all your attention centered on your breath. Just keep listening to my words and follow. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. And slowly return to the original pace of your breath again. I am not the body. I am not the mind. I am not even the thoughts running in my mind. I am something completely different from all these. I am way beyond the body, way beyond the mind and way beyond the thoughts of my mind. I am a pure energy. I am a pure consciousness of this universe and nothing or nobody can bother me or disturb me. I am who I am. I am the energy. I am the Atma. I am the energy of the universe. I am a part of this divine universal energy. In fact, I am the divine universal energy itself in miniature. Main Atma hu. 
और मैं उस परमात्मा का एक हिस्सा हूं एंड जस्ट कंटिन्यू टू ब्रीद नॉर्मली एज यू आर लिसनिंग टू माई वर्ल्ड एंड अलाउंग डेम टू सिंक डीपर एंड डीपर इन टू योर सब कॉन्शियस माइंड एंड योर कॉन्शियस माइंड Just allow my words to sink deeper and deeper into the very fabric of your soul. And now that you have been following this guided breath meditation for quite some time, notice how your natural rhythm of breath has also become slower notice how your breath naturally by itself has become slower and just notice how with the natural slowing down of the very pace of your breath your body is also beginning to feel lighter and lighter how in the beginning of the meditation your body felt heavier and now it feels lighter maybe as light as a feather some of you by now may even start to feel a little giddy a little dizzy in the head perhaps but that's natural that's only because your body is now feeling lighter and lighter almost as if you were floating on the clouds if you are lying down on the couch then notice how your body feels so light that it almost feels like you are floating that you are floating on the surface of the couch it's almost like your body is just slightly touching the surface of the couch and not sinking into it if you are sitting on a chair because you are a busy professional notice how your body is feeling lighter and lighter on this chair or the couch and also with the slowing down of the breath i want you to notice how your mind has also slowed down and has become calmer how the traffic of the thoughts in your mind has become lesser and how the speed of the very thoughts has also reduced just like the speed of the cars on that highway of the mind 
Notice how with the very slowing down of your breath, your body is entering into a deeper state of relaxation. And how your mind is also becoming calmer. With lesser and lesser thoughts. And the speed of the thoughts is also slowing down. And now it is time for us to step into the second part of the meditation. The guided breath body scan. Now that you have become significantly calmer and more relaxed. Let's start to bring all our awareness to the entire body again, piece by piece, head to toe. So starting from the head, I want you to bring all your awareness to your head. Starting from the crown of your head, the forehead, the eyes, the ears, nose, your mouth, your chin and your neck, bringing all your awareness to your entire face and your neck. Take a deep breath in, energizing your face and your brain. And as you breathe out, notice how your face and your neck the muscles of your face and the muscles of your neck are becoming more and more relaxed. Take one more deep inhale. And as you exhale, as you breathe out, gently allow your face and your neck to relax. Give permission to your face and your neck. Give a loving permission to your face and to your neck to relax further with every exhale. If you want, you can also try to consciously bring more love, kindness and compassion to your face and to your neck. And further, give them a gentle and a very loving permission to relax even further. Now slowly, slowly bring your awareness to your shoulders, your arms, all the way up to your wrists, hands and fingers, all the way down to your chest and your belly. Take a deep inhale once again, energizing your shoulders, your arms, chest and belly and as you breathe out, Give that part of the body a gentle and a loving permission to relax as you exhale. Try to consciously bring more love and compassion into this part of the body. Notice how your body, how that particular part of the body is enjoying that love and compassion from you and is relaxing further and further. With one more breath and with one more gentle and a slow exhale, give your arms, shoulders, chest and belly one final loving permission to relax completely. Now bring all your awareness to your pelvis, and your legs, the entire length of your legs. Taking a deep breath in, as you inhale, energizing your hips, pelvis and your legs. And as you exhale, allowing your hips, pelvis and your legs to relax. Take one more deep inhale. And as you exhale, give your hips, pelvis and your legs a gentle, loving, kind permission to relax completely. All the way down to your shins and your ankles. Now bring your awareness to your feet and your toes. 
taking one more deep inhale sending fresh oxygen and energy to your feet and as you exhale give your feet a loving gentle permission to relax completely notice how with every exhalation the muscles the tired stressed muscles of your feet the soles of your feet and your toes are relaxing more and more now let's take a few minutes to center our bodies even more centering our bodies will allow our mind the time and the space to center itself so notice the chair or the couch that you are sitting on right now notice how the chair or the couch is supporting your body how the back and the base of the chair are nicely and securely supporting your body notice all the points of contact where your body is making a contact with the chair the back and the base of the chair where your body is making a steady and a stable contact with the chair or the couch notice your feet notice how the ground underneath you is securely supporting your feet notice the soles of your shoes that you are wearing maybe you are not wearing shoes notice the soles of your feet notice how the soles of your shoes or your feet are being securely supported by the ground underneath notice all the points of contact notice the very surface of the ground the very smooth surface of the ground where the soles of your feet or the soles of your shoes are making a contact and just continue to breathe following the natural pace of your breath always noticing how your very body is becoming more and more relaxed with the very slowing down of the natural pace of your breath however with the awareness that you have now inculcated within yourself I would just like to request you request you to make a small attempt. I would like you to request request all of you to make a tiny conscious effort to breathe just a little deeper and just a little slower. So every time you breathe in I would like to request you to inhale a little deeper. and as you breathe out i would like to request you to exhale a little more slow so as you breathe in just inhale a little deeper and as you breathe out just exhale a little slower as you breathe in inhaling a little deeper and as you breathe out exhaling a little slower very nice now that you are a little more centered and a little more grounded i want you to try to tap in to try to tap in into the things that you need a little more of right now 
now that your feet or the soles of your feet are nicely and securely planted into the earth and are nicely and securely grounded are nicely and securely grounded into the earth i would like you i would like for you to tap into the natural resource base of our planet i would like you to tap into the natural resources of planet earth through the contact points of the soles of your feet by establishing a firm and a steady contact with planet earth through the very soles of your feet i would like to request you to use your feet as a solid and a strong medium use your feet as a stable medium to tap into earth through the very grounding into the planet earth that you have now established with your feet through the very strong and the stable contact with the planet earth that you have established with your feet through the very medium of your feet now that you have grounded yourself now that you have grounded yourself into the earth through the very stable and the very strong contact points of your feet now that you have grounded yourself completely into the planet earth i want you to be able to tap into the natural resources of the planet earth through the very contact points of your feet so now is the time for you to tap into the very natural and the abundant resources of the planet earth now is the time for you to tap into all these resources now is the time for you to tap into these resources and try to understand what you need the most for yourself time for you to tap into all that you need time for you to introspect analyze yourself understand yourself better so that you know what you need in the very first place and then time for you to finally tap into all that you need what is it that you need the most at this time do you need more compassion more kindness in your life throughout the day you are spreading compassion around you don't you think you could do very well with some compassion yourself would you like to catch up on some sleep you may be tired you may be tired because of your hectic schedule throughout the day would you like a couple of hours of extra sleep for yourself an extra nap through the day maybe a midday nap what is it that you need or would you like to exercise more would you like to take care of your health and fitness do you feel that you have not been able to take sufficient care of your fitness because of your hectic regime maybe now is the time for you to catch up on your exercise or would you like to go for a nice gentle massage a massage which can help you to relax even further relax your body relax your mind Are you somebody who is not able to communicate your needs to others in an effective way? Would you like to be able to communicate your needs to others more effectively? 
maybe you have been so busy spreading love and compassion around that you have not been able to do so with your own family maybe it is time for you to take out more time for your family and spread love and compassion there because charity starts at home maybe you have not been able to give love and compassion to your family the way you would like to maybe it is time for you to focus on that as well and now it is time for you to tap even further into the things that you genuinely need really really need for yourself self compassion self love self care maybe it is time for you to plan that two week mini vacation and although i know that the situation is not right because of the covid-19 crisis chances are you will not be able to go for that two week vacation maybe it is a distant possibility but for the time being no then what about taking an entire day off tomorrow and doing all those things that you would love to do on that two week vacation maybe it is time for you to switch off that cell phone for cell phone for an entire day maybe it is time for you to go on to that dnd mode do not disturb maybe it is time for you to disable all those pop ups and notifications from your sms's emails whatsapp messages maybe these are those practical life therapies that you need at this moment throughout the day you take care of others throughout the day you take care of the work and the tasks that you have to accomplish throughout the day you are busy spreading love and compassion amongst those around you have you ever asked yourself who is going to take care of you are you going to reach out to others for help and support or are you going to be your very own caretaker i believe you are a soldier in every right sense and just like you have the capacity to take care of others you definitely have the capability and the skill set and the gifts and the abilities to take care of yourself but you have not been able to take out the time for yourself to be able to take that good care of yourself so maybe now is the time to just take out one day or half a day to be able to do things for yourself things that are rejuvenating things that are relaxing activities that are fun activities that you feel passionate about activities that make you happy maybe it is a time for you to take a nice long rejuvenating bath with fragrances aromatic oils and a nice ambience just giving yourself all that love and care through all these different activities maybe it is time for you to catch up on your reading maybe there is a good book lying around but you have not had the time to read it maybe it is time for you to journal more meditate more just take out 20 minutes of me time for yourself where nothing and nobody can disturb you or enter your space 
maybe it is time for you to step into that personal bubble from time to time just to be able to take care of your physical mental and emotional health so that you in turn can be a source of eternal joy to all those around you maybe today through this meditation it is time for you to self reflect and introspect dig deep dive in words whatever you want to call it meditate self analyze maybe it is time through the medium of this video to ask yourself these important questions and if the answer to all these questions is a resounding yes then yes you need to take out time for yourself and your overall well-being because sometimes in life it is important it is very important for ourselves to put ourselves first in our lives it is not selfish at all it is called being self full taking care of yourself taking out time for yourself does not mean that you are being selfish that you are being ignorant of the needs of others that you are disrespecting or disregarding others no it does not mean that in fact the very word selfish is not a bad word it is the society which has attributed a negative connotation to it the word selfish is a very healthy and a positive word being selfish means being able to understand and being able to take care of our very own personal needs being selfish means the ability to put ourselves first in our lives to make ourselves the number one priority in our lives and we should do that we need to do that because we i you you are the true representation of god in your life so the way you treat yourself is the way you end up treating god i am a true representation of god in my life so the way i treat myself is a true reflection of how i would treat god in my life so please please never feel that being selfish is a bad thing being selfish is a good thing being selfish is the least you can do for yourself putting yourself first is the least you can do in your life making yourself number 1 in your life is a very important thing to do because when you make yourself number 1 you make the divine almighty number 1 you make the universal divine energies that are surrounding you at all times number 1 in your life because those divine energies are driving you constantly they are driving your life and you are a part of that eternal divine energy and like i keep telling you through my meditations you are an energy yourself and you are not just any energy you are a part of that sublime divine energy which has created the universe you are a very part of that brahma brahma the energy that has created the universe and is running the universe brahma is running your life brahma is running you your daily tasks your activities your responsibilities that you accomplish every day so you are a part of that brahma or that divine energy the way you treat yourself is the way you treat brahma or parmatma or the divine energy 
whatever name you might want to give it whatever you might want to call it god divinity divine energy brahma parmatma all said and done you are a part of that parmatma or that divine energy so the way you treat yourself is exactly the way you treat that divine energy or parmatma so treat yourself well make yourself number 1 prioritize your needs put yourself first yes it is selfish and yes it is not a bad thing to be selfish and yes selfish the word selfish is not a bad word the meaning of the word selfish is not bad at all being selfish is being good the word selfish is not a bad word the meaning of the word selfish is not bad at all it is important for you to be selfish because being selfish means putting yourself first it is being self full your cup of life needs to be full because only when your cup of life is full only when it is full to the brim only then when you add more to the cup of your life it can spill over it can run over into the cups of others my cup runneth over your cup runneth over my cup runneth over because my cup is full to the brim so when my cup runs over when my cup spills over into the cups of all those around me what runs over is theirs what stays inside is mine so whatever runs over from my cup to yours is yours whatever stays inside is mine believe this philosophy in life embrace it follow it trust me your life is going to become so much better so much more qualitative so much more happy fruitful meaningful and fulfilling your life is going to have so much more quality attached to it and when your life becomes more happy and joyful and meaningful naturally you will be in a better position to make the lives of all those around you more happy more joyful and more meaningful so yes if the answer to all the questions that i have asked you today through this video is yes then yes it is definitely time for you to indulge in self love self care and self compassion yes now is the time for you to take out time for yourself and give yourself all that love and care and compassion that you rightfully deserve and now that you know what you have to do indulge more in self care self love and self compassion i want you to ask yourself one last question with your eyes still closed ask yourself this last question What can you do within the next 7 days to continue your vision? Take a few moments to focus on your commitments.
These are the commitments you have made to yourself. Take a few more final moments to once again focus on all these commitments that you have made to yourself during the course of this video today. And also, what can you do within the exact next seven days to continue your vision of self-love, self-care and self-compassion? To continue this beautiful vision of yours for the rest of your life in order for you to be able in order for you to be able to continue your vision of self-love, care and compassion for the rest of your life, what can you do within the next seven days? What can you do within the next seven days in terms of incorporating certain permanent changes in your lifestyle? What can you do within the next seven days in terms of incorporating certain new permanent changes in your lifestyle and habits and your permanent neural architecture. What can you do within the next seven days in terms of introducing new neural pathways, new mental pathways into your neural architecture? Just take a few more moments here just take a few more moments taking a few more final moments here to once again focus on all these commitments Take a few more deep inhales and a few more slow exhales. Few more deep inhales and exhales. And whenever you feel ready, whenever you feel ready and whenever you choose to, you may just come back to this present moment and open your eyes. You may choose to write down these commitments to yourself in a journal or a notebook or you may want to set reminders for yourself on your phone, your tab, your laptop or you may want to share these commitments with a loved one. Whichever way works for you, just make sure that you stick to these commitments because these commitments are to you and you are number one in your life. When you make yourself number one in your life, you make God, Paramatma, or the Divine Energy number one in your life. So make sure that you stick to these commitments now that you have made them. You may just shake yourself out and carry on with the rest of your day. Just shake yourself out, shake your body and carry on with the rest of your busy, busy day. Or if you want, you can just choose to be here. If you want, you can choose to just stay here on your chair or your couch and carry on with this mindfulness meditation for just a short while. Whatever you might choose will be the right choice for you. You may choose to carry on with the rest of your busy day or you may just choose to stay back here for just a little more time and carry on with your 
mindfulness meditation. Whatever the choice might be, I would like to thank all of you with the bottom of my heart for having taken out the time to do this meditation with me today. So thank you for that. And I would also like to ask all of you to thank yourself for taking out the time to do this meditation for yourself. Once again, I would like to thank each and every one of you for taking out the time from your busy schedules to do this meditation, to do this wonderful mindfulness practice for yourself. Thank you so much for taking part in this meditation. Thank you so much for taking part in this mindfulness exercise for yourself. I would like to ask all of you to give yourself a big hug. Give yourself a big hug and say a big, big thank you to yourself for having taken out the time, the precious time from your busy schedule to do this meditation and to do this wonderful mindfulness exercise for yourself. Because trust me, there's nobody in this world who can hug yourself the way you hug yourself. There's nobody in this world who can hug you the way you can hug yourself. Namaste. Namaste, namaste, namaste.